Welcome back. The only complaint I have about Bluetooth mics is that when you're trying to use Bluetooth speakers with Bluetooth mics, it takes a little bit to uh, get the setup right. You have to like connect the mics first and then connect the Bluetooth or else that won't play while this is connected or just a whole bunch of BS. But as you can see, we're in a different gym today. Every video so far, the last three videos have all been in different gyms. Uh, so I kind of like to keep that trend. We're in the home gym today. Uh, gonna do a little shoulders, a little arms, just basic pump stuff. Uh, try to feel big. It's really, my workouts have just been fun lately, man. I've just been trying to have fun, get big. Don't really care about strength, you know. It's not like my strength is going anywhere. It's not like I'm getting weaker. Sure, I'm not as strong as I was when I was peaked for powerlifting, but I'm way bigger, I look better, I feel better, and I'm having way more fun with my workouts. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit here. Um, I'll probably start with like close grip and then we'll do some behind the neck uh, military press and then all other types of arm pump stuff, probably some skull crushers, probably some band push downs. But uh, yeah, just gonna be another raw workout. As you guys can see, we got the first sample of the Gainy Gains merch in here. Give you a closer look. Got the Valentine's logo on the front. And the big Gainy Gains with gainygains.com on the back. Some people weren't a fan of the website on the back, but uh, kind of reminds me of the old school. Some of you will remember this, some of you won't. The uh, bodybuilding.com t-shirts, they're still around, but they were more popular when I first started lifting. Just like that old school vibe. Uh, not sure if this will be the print that'll be up for sale. We're um, still ordering a couple more samples to see what's what, what looks best, what feels best. But it definitely feels good wearing my own shit to work out in. So we're going Mike on the sweatshirt string today. Because uh, I'm wearing a beanie instead of a regular baseball cap hat. So we'll see how much that gets in the way of my fucking bench press training. Hopefully not very much. I don't see it being a problem. But eventually the hoodie's going to come off and then... I really don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know where we're gonna put the mic. It's weird, I checked back the other video. I have music blasting right now and you guys can barely hear it. That's kind of sick. So I think I've explained this before, but arms is like my favorite thing. And so I hit tries with chest, I hit buys with back, and then I also do shoulders and arms because bro, I want 20 inch arms at all costs. I mean, to me, 20 inch arms is a way cooler flex than any amount of weight lifted. Because I've been lifting so many weights, my arms are 20 fucking inches. I think that's what would be sick. Oh. Yeah, see, like, is this gonna come down and hit the mic? Oh. Dude, I'm sore. I took a tumble at work yesterday. Setting up at home is always a little weird because the bench isn't fixed. So it's low key in a different spot every time I bench. But you know, I'm not a complainer. Low key a Hall of Fame complainer. But yeah, as I was saying, I took a tumble at work yesterday. I'm a mover and I like fell down the moving ramp, like the ramp that comes off the truck and cut my hands open and stuff. And it's not bad by any means, but I don't really like getting like sweat and shit in my cuts. So I put band-aids on and those fall off during lifts. So I just wrap them up. Uh, it also kind of makes me feel like CM Punk, but that's besides the point. Uh, I've explained this before, but most of my lifts, Starts with one thing that's heavy, some heavy compound movement of some sort. And then everything else is pretty much, I don't go super heavy. I just try to get the pump of a lifetime out of it. Like either go till failure or go till, I don't know, just go nice and slow and really feel it. Because I've noticed over the last, let's see, it's January, last six-ish months, probably like eight now. Since I've switched over to that style of training, my body reacts so much better to that. The pumps are so much better than just like lifting heavy on shit for no reason. But yeah, as you guys saw the last video, last year sucked. So this year I'm determined 
no matter what the shoot throws at me, I'm going to throw enough back to where it won't matter. If I'm doing enough for myself, then things that happen to me outside of my control shouldn't affect me to the point of which they did last year. <laughs> For those of you that are new here, I don't really do flat barbell bench much anymore since I stopped doing powerlifting. However, close grip bench has been one of my favorites forever. I actually got up to doing 315 on it just for a single, but nonetheless, I love triceps. I love working triceps. I love a tricep pump. Nothing feels better. The feeling of your arm like ballooning up from a pump, and there's no better feeling. Roll the Arnold clip. Now I was uh, having sex with a woman and coming. And so can you believe how much I am in heaven? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? Yeah, especially, I mean, close grip, two plates, I'll probably do 10, and we'll go a little higher, and we'll see. Um, I might throw wrist straps. We'll see how the set feels. If it doesn't feel like good, I'll throw wrist straps on before I actually do it. Because the thing that scares me about close grip is, like, it's so easy for your wrist to turn this way. And then, you know, if the bar's in my hands, and it turns this way, where's the bar going? And then I'm going to the ER. And we don't want that. <laughs> No workers comp when you're sitting at home. There's also no like, you know, can't sue the gym, it's my gym. I'm thinking, based on the way that felt, I'll probably just stick here and do a couple sets, get the blood into my tries, and then we'll hop into uh, behind the neck presses. But uh, the reason I do tries first, it doesn't really have much to do with shoulders. Most of your shoulder movements, pressing movements, are gonna have a secondary effect on your triceps because they're used. So, for an exercise like close grip bench, I want my triceps to be fresh. So that's why I do it first. And another reason I do triceps before buys is because I find when you do biceps, when your biceps get pumped, your arms, instead of being straight, kind of have a little bit of a, a cock to them with the elbow because your biceps are full. And I find it harder to fully extend my tries when I'm training. So that's why I do tries first. Just a little, uh, bit of knowledge, bro science for you. I don't know why that felt so heavy. I swear I'm not weak. On an unrelated topic, I did a back and biceps the other day in a 2X t-shirt, and I was like filling it out in the shoulders and the arms. No better feeling. This is a double X hoodie. I'm like, you can kind of tell, not that I'm filling it out, but you can tell I got arms under here, which as a kid who used to weigh, you know, 160 fucking pounds, that's a pretty lit feeling. Wearing a double X t-shirt and having it snug on your arms. But, uh, you know, this is one of the ways I got there was close grip bench, so. Definitely a staple exercise for me over the years. For both, I mean, increasing size and my bench lockout. It's like my uh, shoulders lately. I'm feeling weird when I bench. So I can't keep them. Uh, can't keep them tucked enough. 
nonetheless, one more set of this. And we'll move on to something a little more pump focused. Flat bench just isn't fun for me anymore in any regard. Still all time favorite though, for sure. I've noticed TikTok is by far my most engaging platform. Uh, my Sean Dogany account on there, followers on there, I've tried to follow most people back, I reply to all my comments. I'm trying to grow a family, bro. I'm trying to grow a family based audience where if people want to reach out to me and have questions, I'm going to answer. I don't want to be another one of these influencer cornballs who's like, well, you know, if I were you, I'd just go to my website and buy my program for $50. That's the same thing that I've been selling every other kid for the last two years. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be another cornball. I want to be able to give you advice to the best of my ability based on what you guys tell me about yourselves, not just some basic do this because it worked for me. You know what I mean? These videos are, I'm showing you what's worked for me. But it may not work the same for you. That's how this gym shit works, bro. You got to try different things and figure out what works the best for your body and your body type. I think I could go D1 and yapping. A little side note, but I didn't get any offers in high school. Did this cut on this side, like right on my wrist, so it hurts, like bend it either way, which whatever. It's kind of annoying though. It's not that bad of a cut, but just the position of where it is, is like annoying. Like uh, if any of you have ever gotten a cut on your hand on this side, and you're like a person that deadlifts, it's annoying. And even if it's not a bad cut, it's just annoying. Go one more set here, and then we'll get into some behind the neck pressing, which is one of my all time favorites. I think we'll do this set with my feet up, just as a little, uh, you know, prove you guys I'm not actually that weak. Quick little Tim on my feet up. Still here, man, still here. So on this one, I pretty much always start with 95 pounds uh, as far as behind the neck pressing. So like with this exercise, you really don't even, you don't have to up the weight that much. Like you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about the weight too much. I mean, as soon as you start doing them and you're doing them the right way, you're gonna fucking feel it in your shoulders. Uh, there's been times where sure I've gone heavy on here, but I didn't really mo notice much of a difference in pump or shoulder development from going heavy on here versus just kind of easing your way up in weight, really focusing on going slow through the reps, feeling it right. Yeah, that'll light up your shoulders any day of the fucking week, boys. I'm telling you, I mean, oh, we'll throw a 10 on. I don't know if I'll even go up to 135, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you guys, if you're doing them right and you're doing them slow, you're going to feel the fucking burn. But I mean, people do always ask me for routines, and it's not like I'm going to write you a routine, but I'll show you what I do. And you can, uh, you know, cherry pick from that and figure out what works for you. Like I said, it's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, we'll see if this is a better angle. It doesn't really matter, but uh, it's actually the first video I've shot down here. Even though the gym's coming up, this gym is coming up and being four years old, got it during COVID. God bless my dad. We drove all around Indiana one day. Like a couple days after the gym's closed to get everything. 
Because, bro, I was tweaking. I was like, it could be close for six months. We don't know. Ever so thankful for my pops in this place. Oh. I was just talking about you on here. I said I was just talking about you on here. No, you're fine. I was talking about how I've never filmed a video down here. Even though we've we've almost had it for four years now. Push! Push it up, Sean! I didn't touch it. Come on, come on, man. Push it up, lock him out, lock him out! Come on, lock him out! Fucking go! You got it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, man, I feel it. I love this exercise. But, uh, I mean, wait till I take the hoodie off. I can already see my shoulders starting to fill up with blood through the hoodie. I mean, if I pull it in like this, now you can see it a little more. But, uh, Man, plus filming in the basement is so nice, man. I don't gotta like, nobody's walking around my tripod. I don't have to like worry about other people walking through or like being in their way. I mean, I know you guys saw the last, uh, if you saw the last episode of the Gain and Gain Returns, so. I'm like working out. People are just like almost walking into my dumbbells as I'm pressing. Uh, I feel like gym culture's gone downhill as far as space working in. That's a topic for another time. Jeez, bro, you have to like throw this bitch in front of you when you're done. Oh, that's the only thing about working out here and just working out in a rack versus like, uh, like you know, some places they actually have seated military press, like racks, I guess. And I would put the bench in front of it, but because there's so little space between my head and the back of the bench, it's difficult to find the spot where lifting it off feels comfortable and you're not hitting the pins. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't care. It's Hall of Fame yapping that you guys are tapping through right now. I gotta take this off though, boys. Get, get warm. So now it's like, what do we do with the fucking microphone? Shoulders are feeling full. Very full. God damn. Working out was the best decision I ever fucking made. Jesus, throwing that in there never feels, never a comfortable way to do that. Think about it, you've seen me do close grip today and those, look at the shoulders. We're about to do some laterals and it's gonna get even crazier. Like bro. <laughs> Been enjoying it lately bro, I'm getting bigger, size is getting bigger. It's the first time in a couple years I've really felt like I'm making a lot of fucking progress.
Man. Another staple I've been doing since I was about 15. Lateral raises. One of the first ones I learned. Everything's coming up gainy this year, gentlemen. You know, I do appreciate Sam Solik and how he's brought back kind of the raw workout video style to the industry. But I don't think people realize a majority of these people's audience is children. I don't think enough of these influencers are maybe aware enough that how malleable children's minds are and the influence they could be setting. Not necessarily Sam, because I know he's not promoting steroid use and stuff like that, but kids aren't dumb. They know what you're doing. And when you don't address it, it's a problem. Just the industry, the direction it's headed is leaving a bad impression on young men, in my opinion. Uh, and that's kind of my goal. I want, I want to be a good example for you guys, you know? Okay, now for real. Bro, I feel like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I feel like. I feel huge. Okay, one more of those, and then I'll grab the light dumbbells, super light ones, and we'll do some bent over, rear delt, flies, and then skull crushers. Just so that we're all on the same page here. So if you're trying to copy my workout, you can stay on pace with me. Do some rear. burn on those you can see my rear delt it's uh only oh, pops out when i'm doing back double by or uh I, like actually hit it because when i flex this way as you can see it's gone my tricep just eats it also the thing i've noticed i like hate comments they either don't have any content or the content they post maybe they're stronger than me but it does like shit. It gets like 20 views so it's really just like a it all comes from insecurity People are making fun of you. It's something that's wrong with them, not something that's wrong with you. Always keep that in mind. Take that with a grain of salt though, because if everyone's saying the same thing about you, you know, it could be mean, but not that that's a problem, of course. It just depends how you look at it. Jesus. Feeling pretty good for the amount of exercises done so far. The pump's pretty, uh... Pretty there.
Jeez. Burning. It's all about your posture. Stand up straight, shoulders back, look pretty big. However, even when I turn this way, it's like, what is that? These raw type videos are my favorite. Just like you guys are working out with me. I'm putting out that for me. Enjoy it. Okay. My head's off the shit, but I think it's fine. Dude, the bump right now is immaculate. I'm telling y'all, if you just work, focus on the fucking burn. That superset's been a fucking staple for a couple years now too. Stole that from an old buddy of mine. I don't really talk to him anymore. Skull Crusher superset some close grip at the easy bar. Dude, shoulders and arms might be my favorite day of the week. I feel like Arnold. Arnold Jr. Ooh, super raw video. Uh, I need to know if you guys like this better, like edits where I'm talking and giving motivation, because I definitely have a lot of that to give too. It's all just kind of dependent. Start with some barbell curls. I like to try to keep my elbows as close to me as possible. That way, when you come up, your pinky's coming up outside your shoulder, working the peak of that bicep. Barbell curls are one of my favorites. I don't really do them too often because I don't like being the dickhead that takes up a, a bench press or a squat rack to do curls, but you know, I'm telling you, all the guys in the golden age did fucking barbell curls and they were huge. I mean, dude, if I can hit 20 inch arms by the end of this year, I'll feel good about myself because uh, no needles. Uh. 
My arms feel full of shit, dude. I feel like these full, uh, like the cast iron dumbbells like this are heavier than like the regular ones. I don't know if it's just the way they're like molded or they make them feel different. I like them too. Yeah. And even like the ones that are plates that are attached together, you know, like the ones in the Taylor wheel. Uh, we have those at peak and they start to roll when yeah. the thing starts to get loose. Yeah, I've seen videos like that. Screw on. I mean, there's people I played football with freshman year that still remember me being like, I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna get fucking jacked. Like, I'm tired of this shit. I, yeah, a couple of my buddies, I mean, that team in general, they were all kind of douchey. You know, I had a couple friends on there, but the rest of them, not nice people. Now I see them, Kenny, you're so big, dude. Yeah. Push down the call it a day. One more here, we'll do some band push downs. Workout's kind of spiraling. You know, I always hit a point where I'm like, okay, how much more am I really gonna do? Am I really still uh, making, are these exercises still having a positive impact? Uh, have I hit the threshold yet of, I'm no longer getting a pump, I'm just kind of going through the motions. So I think one more here, we'll get a little more blood in the biceps and then uh, do some triceps and we'll, uh, of the day. Take some posing videos maybe since this lighting's so good. What I was saying with these is try to watch your elbows and keep them in the same spot. All right, boys, I think we're done here. I think we're going to call it a day after that. We'll take some posing and call it a day.
shoulder and arm day to completion here. Feeling pretty wide. 